Looking live at Toronto once again, Ontario is loosening a number of COVID-19 restrictions as of today, including limits on gathering sizes and indoor dining. Hospitalizations are trending downward in Canada's largest provinces and so reopening as of today and continuing at a gradual pace for the foreseeable future. Let's get the perspective on that from Dr. Peter Uni, the Scientific Director of Ontario's COVID-19 Science Advisory Table. Welcome back, Dr. Uni. Good morning. Thanks for having me again. Well, I'm interested in your perspective because I spoke to you the day that Ontario announced its plan to reopen. And when we spoke, you expressed real concern that there was no scientific evidence to justify to support that decision at that time. So reopening day is here. How concerned are you today? No, there is evidence. So uh, this is going all in the right direction. Um, when we look at uh, our test positivity, it continues to go down, you know, less positive tests among all, all uh, the tested. Uh, we have now good wastewater data from 99 locations in the province covering every single public health unit, all suggesting we're going downwards and actually quite steep, which is good news, meaning, you know, perhaps in a few days we will reach the bottom of the valley, but this is relatively low again, you know, perhaps a situation like we had around 20th of of December, still high, but relatively low compared with what we experienced probably around 10th of January when we peaked. And uh, we see indeed hospital uh, occupancy go down. Let's be aware of the situation we're in there. We only see those patients who still are positive, you know, with their tests. Once they're negative, they could still be in hospital because of COVID and we don't see them yet. So it will all go a bit slower, but it definitely goes down. And ICU have stabilized and I expect them to come down a bit more this week. So it's all good news. We are Cheers. ready for this step. That it, we're ready for this step. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut that off. That's a key statement. That's a big change from when we last spoke. Positivity rate, wastewater indicators, and hospitalizations going in the right direction. So yes. when reopening today, I mean, how will I know? How will we know if it's if it's going okay? What will you be watching for in the in the in in the near future? Oh, over the weekend, I worked quite heavily with one of my statisticians on refining the wastewater analysis. This will help. We will look at test positivity and we need to be aware of that's the only two things we actually can look at right now as early indicators. The decision to do the next reopening step is so soon that we won't have any clue yet about what will be happening with the hospital occupancy and ICU occupancy. So we need to depend really on waste, wastewater and test positivity and see how it goes. And there's another part that's one part which is a challenge for uh, for Ontario right now. Do you know what this is? No, I'm, I was going to say, what is it, Dr. Uni? Our third dose rollout is just not good. Why we is that, do you lot... think? I don't know. It's really people need to wake up there now. You know, as a rule of thumb, you can just um, expect that if you get your third dose compared with your second dose, this will further decrease your risk of a serious outcome by a factor of five, five times less risk. So let's, you know, just let's let's uh, face this, how this is right now, for example, for a, for somebody like me huh, mm -hmm. in my 50s. This means that um, if I'm if I would be unvaccinated, even if I had perhaps an infection in the past on average, my risk would be one in 60 infections to be uh, to end up in hospital. If I'm vaccinated with two doses, my risk to end up in hospital is one in 300 infections, already dramatically lower. But if I have received my third dose recently, my risk is one in 1,500 infections. You get the feel for that. It's really important, especially for people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s to get their third dose, because we have a lot of people who are vaccinated with two doses. And these people all need additional protection to keep our, the strain in our hospital low, but also to benefit themselves from the improvement in prognosis. So is that partly why you have been been one of the vocal advocates for redefining fully vaccinated to include now three doses as opposed to two, to changing that, that vaccine certificates require three doses? Yes, we have an, a window of opportunity now. You know, everybody has the possibility now to get three doses. You know, we really have a fallen asleep situation regarding the, the rollout and there is capacity. So 
it's the window of opportunity now between perhaps roughly 10th of February and end of March to do something that protects our high risk settings, including restaurants, bars, gyms, etc. You know all that. And it would be now that this would be worthwhile for two reasons. One, I just said, indeed, it would not everybody to get their third dose and be safer. But also in the first perhaps two to three months at least, we will have a decrease in the risk of uh, infection and therefore transmission, meaning really a restaurant gets much safer. I might go again to a restaurant to have dinner once if we had a three dose certificate. Mm. Guess what? I won't go to a restaurant now. Not now. So has this been the formal advice from the science advisory table to the government to change that definition to make it three doses? And if so, what have you heard from government on this point? Not formal. You know, formal for us typically means a science brief. But mm -hmm. uh, I was obviously very vocal and so were my colleagues there. And uh, actually we'll discuss today, I discussed that with, with, uh, with colleagues already before the weekend, whether we should not do relatively swiftly science brief on the topic to show what the impact really is. So we haven't done it formally, but informally for by all means, yes. And of course, you know, Dr. Moore has, has heard from me repeatedly regarding that. I got on his nerves with it, I guess. So we'll perhaps hear more on that issue. It's certainly something that's getting more attention right now. Dr. Uni, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, why you've changed your stance on this. Lots of positive indicators and factors going in the good direction on this reopening day in Ontario. Thank you, Dr. Peter Uni. Thank you.